Hello, welcome to the Andrew Lavery Show, where we talk about investing in the stock market and where we talk about using the stock market to help build wealth over time so we can all become self-made millionaires. In this video, we are going to put two ETFs head-to-head -head and see which one will pay more in dividend income over time. On this side of the screen, we got DIVO. D-I-V-O is a ticker symbol. The full name of the ETF is Amplify. I think I'm saying that right. A-M-P-L-I-F-Y. And Amplify CWP Enhanced Dividend Income ETF. It's a mouthful, so I'm just going to call it DIVO for the rest of this video. That's on this side. <clears throat> Excuse me, this side over here on this dividend calculator. And this dividend calculator over here is SCHD, which is a Schwab, Schwab U.S. Dividend Equity ETF. So what we have here are two identical copies of my dividend calculator. And we're going to put these two ETFs head to head and see which one pays more in dividend income over time. Before we move on, I want to encourage everyone to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and notification bell. I post new videos all the time. And I also want to mention, if you like a copy of this dividend calculator, you're going to see it in action here in a minute. Um, check out my listing on Fiverr. There's a link down below in the description. I'm selling the copies of the calculator for $5 each. I'll send it to you directly through Fiverr. Um, so it's very, very easy. I'll get it to you within 24 hours after you order it. And it's got great information here in the listing as well. So read this over. But check this link out. Check this listing out. Link down below in the description. All right, so let's get on with the video here. Um, we're going to focus on the snapshot section of this calculator, but the snapshot section is fed from this side of the calculator, where you get a year by year, month by month look. Um, you can see all the the column titles up there, so you can see what information is captured, and it goes all the way up to 45 years. So you just scroll way, way down, and you can see it goes all the way up to 45 years. So that's where the information is coming from. We will focus on the snapshot section for this video. All right, so we need to put in some inputs here. I've already gone ahead and done that. The average dividend yield for both the current annual dividend per share and the compound annual growth rate. This is the three-year compound annual growth rate on DIVO for the, this side of the screen because DIVO hasn't been around for five years. So this is the five-year compound annual growth rate over here for SCHD. They've been around a little bit longer. So I just wanted to point that out. Five-year compound annual growth rate over here, three-year compound annual growth rate over here. All right, so let's just put in a dollar amount and see who wins. I always do $200 for these videos. And you can see here, um, in the long term, Divo will pay you $153,137.06 in annual dividend income at the 45-year mark if you consistently invest $200 a month. And uh, one thing I didn't mention is that the this dividend calculator reinvests dividends. So that's also included in the scenario for, for both ETFs. All right, so over here on SCHD, if we put in $200, where do we end up? $184,408.39. So not by much, but SCHD does win out. You can see here in the beginning, SCHD is lagging behind. They got $473 after the five-year mark compared to $817.62 here for a DIVO at the five-year mark. That's really because of the, the dividend yield is so much higher. You got a 5.28% compared to a 2.95% over here for SCHD. So the um, um, right out the gate, DIVO is going to win. However, the compound annual growth rate is much less. It's, in fact, it's about half of, of what SCHD's is. So um, the, while both ETFs will increase, you know, have been increasing their dividends. So we're going to assume that they're going to continue to increase their dividend at the at this rate, the 5.86 and the 10.76. Eventually, SCHD catches up and then surpasses DIVO. And we'll see where it does that. Let's see. The 25-year mark, we got 16,179 compared to just shy of 13,000 over here. 25,400 compared to almost uh, 28,800. And... Uh, Almost tied right here. So at 35 years, we got 50,540 compared to 49,445. So it's probably in the year 36 is where SCHD would um, overtake DIVO. So it depends on your time horizon. So say, for example, like me, for example, um, I'm, I'm just about to hit 40. So I always look at the 25-year mark because that's, you know, be 65 for me. That I hope to retire by 65 no later than earlier if possible. So from my perspective, from my timeline, DIVO, I think, is a better option because um, at 25 years, they're 16,179 as compared to 12,984. But 
the dividends will increase. I may not be reinvesting dividends anymore at that point, but I'll, the dividends will still increase. So I maybe in the long term, SCHD is still a better option for me, um, just because the dividends will will continue to increase, and we're hoping at a faster rate than than Divo's will. So um, it really kind of just depends on your you know what kind of style you're looking for. Divo also pays monthly versus quarterly over here. You can see this is the quarterly calculator. This is the monthly calculator, but. Um, but Divo does, uh, excuse me, uh, SCHD does win this one. That does win this round of dividend wars. Yeah, 184,400 compared to 153,100 roughly. So SCHD does win out. Um, if you would like a copy of this dividend calculator, don't forget, link down below in the description to my Fiverr listing. Um, the calculator is also included in the instructions tab. This instructional video, this link right here is also down below in the description. If you're considering getting a calculator, I highly recommend watching this video. I go into great detail on how I built the calculator, all the formulas that I use, why I use the formulas, why, and my whole rationale for setting up the calculator the way I did. And then also I, I show you how I get these inputs right here, whether I'm figuring them out for myself or I'm looking them up. I show you all that stuff. So definitely check out this instructional video. Highly recommend it if you're if you're thinking about getting a calculator. You can watch it, of course, if you if you don't want a calculator. But um, yeah, if you're definitely considering getting one, I highly recommend watching this video. Link down below in the description. So uh, that's about all I have for everyone. I hope this is eye opening. I hope it's inspirational, as I always do. I hope this really gets people fired up and excited about investing in the stock market and keeping you invested in the stock market. There's definitely so much money to be made, wealth that you can use in your retirement, wealth that you can pass down to your children, especially if you're, you're investing in dividend ETFs and dividend stocks. Um, you use all that annual dividend income to live off of to supplement the fact that you're not getting paid anymore in retirement because you don't have a job. And then your your kids can use that annual dividend income when, uh, when you pass on you leave everything to them if that's what you want to do and it's just uh, it's just such a tremendous wealth building tool um you just have to be smart about it and pick good companies to invest in if you don't know how to do that down below in the description are some of my stock analysis videos my more recent ones where i walk you through how i analyze a company and uh, all the websites i go to what percentages i'm looking for what numbers i'm looking for and why i'm looking for them so i walk you through that i have a lot of stock analysis videos on my website or excuse me on my youtube channel but the ones down below in the description are my more recent ones. So definitely check those out if you don't know how to pick a good company to invest in because that is very, very important. That's key is picking those good companies to invest in and then making sure they remain good companies to invest in by analyzing them once every three months when new quarterly numbers come out. That's what I always do with my portfolio. So um, I'm definitely rambling on now, so we'll cut the video off. Thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. I really appreciate it. Any questions down below? Leave those in the comments for me down below. If, uh, if you have any comments, any feedback on the videos, leave that for me in the comment section too as well. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, notification bell. I post new videos all the time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.